What's up guys, welcome back to the Let's Play Craft XP the Beast server and today we're going to get started on industrial crafts and craft up a couple electric furnaces and a macerator and um, right now I'm just pouring some iron to uh, make a few blocks oh I might run out short here but um yeah so as many of you know industrial craft is a pretty heavy iron mod so we're just kind of pouring as much as we can. Oh, the basin's missing like maybe one. We got a pretty crowded smeltery up here. All right, well, um, so the idea is to, Nick's, Nick's getting started on some, uh, some coke coal for our generators. And uh, we have one of those here with us. And this is the industrial craft experimental version. So, Oh, that's what I was going to do, Nick. I was going to put some glass over there. So we're just going to get a basic setup going with some uh, wiring underneath the machines. I'm looking for my glass. There it is. And we've uh, got a little bit of a different room. I tried to make it a little more tidy, spaced out. Added my little donation station. Um, add the filing cabinets and then just put crafting tables all over the floor but uh, yeah so I'm gonna fill this wall in real quick um, tell you what I seem to work better in the day what do you think Nick should we should we go to sleep go for it all right I'm, I'm gonna do that I, I feel safer I don't want anything to bust through the window and steal me all right so let's go ahead and make some tin cable let's take our tin over here and maybe a few pieces of copper I, I, I just like put these designs in and I'm so used to coming over here for my crafting table I'm like whoa where, where is a crafting table oh well, there's like 20 of them all over the ground so let's uh let's come oh I need some rubber Nick do we have any rubber anywhere we do not oh that sucks wait I, I um there's some rubber I got some uh yeah resin. Uh, that's why we need an extractor. Uh, did you get a piece of resin? There's some resin. No, Over I didn't. Here. Oh. I don't see it. Also, I have, there's clay in here too, by the way. Oh, I'm done. It's out there. Oh, you're done? Oh, okay, cool. Yep. You already have a stack of coal in it? Yep. Oh, sweet. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna burn some rubber here. Haha. <laughs> but um so let's go ahead and get the generator at least placed down and we will need some wiring. I'm not used to the um the crafting recipes for these. So I always forget oh that's right, you need the plates first. Alright. So let's make like four of these. And those are iron oh I already have some down here. All right, let's make a few pieces of tin, a few pieces of copper. All right, let's grab our rubber and let's get the generator in. All right, Nick, um, let's go ahead and get your opinion on this. When you walk in, I think I think the stuff should be to the right. Yeah. What do you think? All right. So we will place the generator right here. So we're gonna dig out. Well, we actually might have not needed that much. But uh we're also gonna need a bat box. So let's put the generator right here. And has anything changed? Did the output still come out the back, I think? Uh what? Does the output of the generator still only output the back? No, oh, no I think it'll go to the sides, yeah. Alright, so let's uh, let's just build a furnace. Well, an electrical furnace. 
So I think this recipe is the same. Just grab some iron. Come in here. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, do you have to do plates now? What's going on with this? Electric furnace. Ah, uh, okay. Looks like you do need plates. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just so not used to this. Let's make a few of those. I know we'll need more in the future. There we go. There's the iron furnace. And then we're going to need a few copper cables to make a circuit. Okay, so this is enough to make one. Even though I know we'll need more, because I do not want to be running uh, 10 cable through everything. So, let's go ahead and put our furnace in. Oh, no. What am I doing? No, I need redstone. Boom. That's it. Boom. Boom. Voila. Alright, and this is done. Alright, so let's go throw this down. Oh, I can't wait till we start making some overclockers. Actually, let's get our bat box going first. Which is not going to be that hard to make. Just some RE batteries. And so, uh, we'll need a, f we'll need more rubber. What else do we okay. have? We have 11. You gonna get on that, Nick? Is Nick gonna go get some rubber? There's some, um, you could probably get some bone meal. Or, and take these, uh, rubber saplings if you want. Alright, so... Let's get started on making some batteries. So we're gonna need uh, some tin item casings. All right. Oh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. All right. Throw something right here, and we need one of these. Well, we need two of them. Ta-da! Now we need more. Alright, so let's make four of these. Eight of these. Boom. Boom. Let's make two more of these. Well... Yeah, we'll make two because we'll use them in later recipes. Alright, so we have four RE batteries. And then uh, now we just need wood. And it looks like I have it. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I guess I didn't make that second one. Oh yeah, I did. I used it. Alright, put that up there. And voila, there's our bat box. Thank God I didn't throw that on the ground on accident. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put this here. Let's get one piece of coal just to fire this thing up. Make sure we have everything properly oriented. I don't know why I'm looking over there for coal. While we're waiting on our coal coal oven. Let's throw one of these in here. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to charge my leather tunic up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be cool. Alright, so let's get our furnace right here. Oh, a little block lag. Um, and then we're going to make a few pieces of copper cable. Because I do not feel like doing tin cable right now. Boom. Yeah, we're definitely going to need some sort of rubber farm. And now we're going to make a macerator so um, we can stop using the smeltery for like every metal ever. So let's look at I know we'll need some flint. 
And we'll need three pieces of flint. We can start putting some of this wood back. I don't need this. Uh, do you have any gold? By any chance? There was one ingot in here and I used it to make a knapsack. But Wait, there is some gold. Yeah, there's a gold ore up at the top. Where? Uh, the diamond chest right here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, I know we need some cobblestone, which I believe I already have some. I'm going to turn these into ingots. Oh, yeah. Plenty of cobblestone. I don't think I need oak wood anymore. And I think I could put this shovel back. I'm done with that. All right, so let's go over here to the macerator. I need a few iron plates. Not actually, I already have enough. Let's just put them in an eight ring. Grab the casing, and then I believe the only other thing we need is a circuit. Yep. Which I need more copper cable. I need more rubber. Uh, we're gonna barely make this work, I think. Um, yeah, we can do that. All right, we can do this. Oh, yeah, we got just enough. Boom, boom, boom. What am I doing? There we go. Got our macerator. It's probably just as slow as it was in the first one. So let's give some power to this. All right, this one holds 780 EU. And this one holds slightly more. The only thing is we're not gonna be able to really check the bat box. That's fine though. All right, so let's go outside and let's find where Nick put this coke coal oven. Um, other side. Where? Where is this that you speak of? Wait, I'm literally looking like. Am I follow, stupid? Follow. Yes. Am I stupid? Why? Is it under this tree? Oh. No. Why would it be under I'm tree? not sure. Oh, it's right here. Why did I felt like I looked here? Okay. Wow, that's weird. It doesn't do as much as it used to. What do you mean? It only produces 8K. It used to produce 16. That's depressing. Well, whatever. I guess it's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and throw these. Now, the thing is, like, for me, I'm kind of careful about how much uh, coke coal I put in because if you just throw a stack of it in your generator, every time your generator's full and it just tr one of your machines just trips it for one, um, like, one EU, like, if you're just looking to cook one thing, then it's going to burn a whole nother coke coal and then your 8,000 EU minus your one that you use you're left with 7,999 EU lost um, yes I can do math so now we're gonna go ahead and grab some ore that we don't want to spam the smeltery with thinking we can well we're gonna be making hardened glass soon I would imagine so we could probably start with some lead Get some lead dust going. Boom. Oh, the macerator days. Shakrasia macerator. Alright. So, I guess while that's going, let's go ahead and organize this a little bit. I'm trying to think if we could we should build. Oh, <laughs> I know what we need. We need. Let's build a mass fabricator right now, Nick. Uh, yeah. We can do this. Our generator will just power it with with just one EU. Yeah, and by episode seventy-five. We should have like ten. Halfway. Yeah, we should have like ten EU by then, or ten UU. <laughs> All 
Oh, that's funny. Well, um... Yeah, so that's kind of just the basic uh, industrial craft setup for right now. Trust me, when we have more materials, I, I'm, I'm like Captain Industrial Craft, and there will just be a whole building dedicated to industrial craft. Um, we're probably going to do a little more mining in the twilight before that happens, but that's basically it for this episode. Is there anything else you wanted to go over, Nick? Like, any cool things? Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's not too hard to make. Uh, just a little iron heavy, and I don't know, I'm still getting used to the way the wire cutters and the hammers used, but that's all right. But all right, uh, this is Chris from Craftix, and uh, that was Industrial Craft 2 Experimental. And that's Nick. Bye-bye. <laughs>